Hey friends, I want to share with you today my favorite way to work with affirmations. So I, you know, started using affirmations many years ago and it just didn't feel like it was um, really grounded down, it really wasn't working for me. It just kind of felt very mental, very hollow. Um, and then as I continued my kind of my education and realizing that it's missing this very physical component and that to me is is really key. So my favorite way to work with affirmations is, is actually to pair them with tapping. So this is pretty similar to like EFT or emotional freedom technique. If you've ever heard of that, I will go through some of the points with you um, if you've never heard of it before. But I really like to pair, you know, the spoken word with some kind of physical action. And you'll also see this in therapies like um, EMDR, where you're actually having a physical like um, stimulus <clears throat> while you're going through some type of mental or emotional experience. And I really think from a neuroscience standpoint, this is where the magic happens. Um, so for me, you can say affirmations out loud or in your head. Um, you can write them out and that's wonderful. It is a great practice to do, but if you are in a place where you can pair them with tapping or some kind of physical um, touch, it can really, I don't know how to describe it, it kind of drives it into the body deeper because um, you're touching on these very physical points and these energy meridians and our body responds a lot better when we can pair these two things. So. I'll kind of give you an example. So uh, again, for me, I use the kind of EFT points because um, I can run through them pretty quickly and they're easily, you know, um, accessible. Um, you can also kind of tap on like the chakra points, um, which I do go through that exercise in my self-care in the chakras ebook, the chakra tapping exercise, if you want to go and check that out. Um, so yeah, I'll just run through an example. So one of my favorite affirmations is I am safe. I am safe. All is well. I am safe. This I think is a really important one because no matter what is going on, if, if there's any type of stress whatsoever, uh, we pull our energies up out of our lower chakras and we don't feel safe uh, on some level. So I really think reminding the body, reminding the limbic system, that little primal fear center, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe, all is well, um, is a really key one. So again, I use the EFT points. I usually start with this, what, what they call the karate chop point. I am safe, I am safe, all is well, I am safe. And you can make this faster too and, and just say I am safe and move to the next point. Um, and then I go to the inner, it's like this brow point right here. I am safe, I am safe all is well, I am safe. And I go to this point out here, kind of at the edge of the eye, I am safe. Then underneath the eye right here on this bone, very gently, I wanna hurt yourself here, I am safe. And then this point right here, I am safe. And on the chin, right at this kind of little divot, I am safe. And then we have two points here, I'll kind of see if you can see them. Uh, they're like, I don't know, two finger widths below the collarbone right here. I am safe. You can pick one side or the other if you want. I usually do both because it, it just feels really nice. Um, there are some of these sides of, of the ribs, but I usually skip that point because it's a lot harder to get to, especially if you're like wearing a bra. Um, um, and then there's a final point here kind of at the very top of the crown of the head. So I usually use all my fingers here and just that I am safe. So again, I'll run through it really quickly with you. This is my favorite way of pairing affirmations with tapping. Um, you can pick whatever affirmation you want. You probably know how to create an affirmation positively termed only, short, memorable kind of thing. Um, so starting with this point, I am safe. I am safe. All is well. I am safe. I am safe. All is well. I am safe. I am safe. So that's generally what I would do if I was feeling really um, anxious um, or 
triggered in some way, I'll do a few rounds of the tapping and affirmation combination. So that's one of my tools that I like to use for anxiety and stress relief. Um, so hopefully this is a fun new way for you to combine this, uh, these two practices or uh, adding another layer to your affirmation practice. So uh, if you give this a try or if you have questions about it, feel free to drop me a comment below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more health and spirituality videos to come. So in the meantime, everyone, take care, be well. Bye.